Hey guys, so this is very weird because I usually don't use this camera and I usually don't vlog, but I'm making this video to look back or to probably inspire other people to do this, but the reason why I want to film this is because I think it's just a cool little thing and I kind of wanted to spice up my life a little and I'm not making fun of people who lifestyle is this um i'm going to be doing an all organic food challenge for two weeks now i thought i was going to do it for a month i thought that was going to be way too much spending money wise i'm going to film me getting the food i will talk about all the food that i do get and i will film the meal prep i don't I've never done a video like this, so this is all new to me, so I'm just going to film. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Hope I don't miss any information. I'm not a really good vlogger or film stuff like out in public, so we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of nervous because I've never like shopped organic stuff like this. And I'm going to other stores that I've really never been to, so I don't know where stuff is, so yep. I'm just going to bring you along with me, kind of. I I need to bring out my camera, but it's nerve-wracking doing it in front of people. So if there's not a lot of people in the aisle, I will bring you, like, I'll bring you guys out. So let's go do this. So I don't know if this is a really good angle. Don't know if you can see me, but the first store we are going is Aldi's. Now, that's the only place I shop for my groceries. Now, Oldies, I've shopped Oldies for probably the past maybe five years. So I've noticed that Oldies has been getting a lot more organic stuff in, which I really like because there are some things that I do eat organic that I just like. And then I, I, I don't know, I just like trying new things. So I really like that they have the organic option at Oldies. They've just been bringing a lot more food items that are organic which I really like because Aldi if you've never shopped at Aldi's you should go shop I know they don't have like a lot of like branded stuff Aldi's is really cheap Aldi's oh my god it was so packed I don't think I've ever shopped at Aldi's on a Saturday I usually do my grocery shopping on a Sunday afternoon oh my god let me just say, people are rude AF. Like, seriously. Mm -mm. I don't, oh my god, I'm so nervous to go to other stores. Before today, I actually made a list of everything that I needed. And I made a list of what foods to get at what stores. I literally had like four tabs open of all the stores that I would be going to and I was checking each item where it was cheaper at so I didn't have to like go to one store and just get everything now we are going to Kroger's it's probably gonna be busy I'm probably just gonna film the clips from my phone I actually wrote down like what aisle stuff will be in so yeah but after Kroger's, I'm actually going to drop all these groceries off that I usually have because I don't want to have, I have frozen stuff and I don't want to leave it in the car while I drive 20 minutes and then shop for probably another 30 minutes and then drive another 20 minutes and just have stuff that's in the car that's frozen that should be in the freezer. So after Kroger's, I'm going to go, I'm going to head back and I'll probably just say this all over again after I'm out of Kroger's, but hopefully I'm still with you. I just came back to my apartment, unpacked everything. So now we're on to the third store. Okay. Make sure I got everything. Let's go. 20, 25 minutes to the next store. So this is, I did a vlog right after I got out of Kroger's. So I figured I would just talk to you guys 
on the way to the next store because I had a little bit more time. So. And I'm very sorry how I like prop my camera up. I don't have a, a mount for my camera. I really want to buy one because I really want to do vlogs or like a talk thing in the car. I'm going to talk about Kroger's because I really I don't really shop there. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot. Like everything that you could want is organic. Um, now the reason why I'm going to this other store is because stuff is either cheaper or Kroger's doesn't have it. Now I'm very, very surprised that Kroger has a lot of like a really good selection of organic stuff. Like every single aisle there's organic stuff. I feel like if you guys have a Kroger's and want to try out organic things, I would probably re recommend starting there. If you guys don't have an oldies by you, we are going the third place is Fresh, Fresh Oh my god, I know I'm gonna say this wrong. Fresh thyme, I think. It's, I don't know, I think that's how you say it. Hopefully that's how you say it. So, let's keep doing this. Hey guys, so I just got back home. I unloaded everything. I tried to put, oh, okay. I'm not used to <laughs> vlogging. So I just got everything out that I got today. There was a few things that I already had. So here is the all the organic stuff that I got today. So over here in this corner, I have this organic protein. Now it's flavored French vanilla. I don't know how that's gonna taste. I'll probably, I hope I don't taste it in my smoothie, but it's the only one that they had and it was kind of on sale, so that's why I got it. So for my smoothie, I put this one scoop of this. I put a cup of almond, almond milk. And I put some blueberries. These are the frozen blueberries that I got instead of fresh ones. And then I put some baby spinach. I'll put down in the description each item where I got it from. So I don't have to explain because that's a lot. You can just scroll down and look at the list. So that is all for the smoothie and then obviously ice. So right here... I got my spices that I needed for some of my meals. So this is pepper, organic pepper, paprika, um, oregano, and parsley. So over here, I usually don't eat chips and salsa, but Oldies got these. So I absolutely, I've been getting these for the past month now, and I absolutely love some eggs. Then I got some pepper for um, a meal, and it's like a cheese. It's like an egg casserole, so this these are like mostly all the ingredients right here. Hash browns, I got two just in case, and then I got two organic sharp cheddar cheese just in case. So this is for like a breakfast thing that I'll be meal prepping just for one week. I don't have enough for another week, so the other the second week I'll just be eating regular eggs. So there's that. I got me some snacks. So for a meal that I'll be prepping, it's like a, I would say it's like a chicken soup pasta thing. So these are it. I got two of everything of the diced tomatoes because I will be prepping that both weeks. I got some chicken broth because I'll be using that. And then lately I've been drinking bone broth. So I got organic bone broth. Over here, some bananas. I got some garlic. Right here, I got some mangoes. I got three of them. Onions. And then I got this. Now, it wasn't really on my list, but I know I'll use it cooking things. So that's what I got. And I know I'll use it later after I'm done with this challenge. So for the soup pasta thing, I got this. So that's that goes over there with that. And then it's chicken in that pasta soup chicken thing. So here I got organic chicken. And then for spaghetti, I usually don't eat meat with my spaghetti. So here are the two ingredients that I'll be using to make pasta and pasta sauce. So overall, there is all the organic items that I got today. I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous because I've never really done this before. So 
I don't even know if the camera was on me. Great. I'm gonna record, try to record what I'll be making, what I'll meal prep. Maybe I'll film throughout the week of like little snacks and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really good at this filming stuff. So I'm just, I just hope this video is okay. And I, I hope you guys want to do this too. I don't know, just to try it. So yep. Peace out guys.